this... Elite smash! It's so hard to clean. There must be an easier way. Hi, I'm Snake. And I'm declaring war with new grenade. Just pull the pin and let grenade do the rest. Bang! <laughs> grenade, bang! And the germs are gone. And now new travel grenade for foreign lime scale. Elite smash! Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash. And last time, we got in Dark Pit, the Dark Wayne doppelganger, to finish off the Kid Icarus series. Now, we are getting near the end of this Road to Elite Smash, as we don't have very many single series characters left to cover. So, we're gonna go back to another single series character that we have yet to cover. This is one of the first third party characters introduced into Smash, and he's from the Metal Gear franchise. He's a very explosive personality. It's going to be Snake that we're going to be covering today. And I think Snake is going to be a real blast to play, no pun intended. So let's go ahead and look at his alts. Of course, there's only one alt that I really want to cover, and it's the black alt. Very stealthy, and I think we're going to be having an explosive time here. Alright, looks like we have Zelda off to start this Road to Elite Smash, and I think that could be a little bit rough, but let me show you Snake's explosive moveset. So first of all, that is Nikita, his side B. It's a missile that can fire off, and it's really dangerous off stage. That's his grenade. Really helpful. Explodes after a while if you heard it in the background. That's his up tilt. Pretty nice. Nair, a lot of hits. And there, Nikita coming to get Zelda. Oh, almost. And yeah, that lightning kick was a little too fast for us to handle, but it's alright. One or two. Let's try out his up smash. As you can see, it goes flying right in the air, but the... Grenade launcher itself does have a hitbox. That's Cypher, his up B. Actually, one of the best recoveries in the game. Has super armor on a startup. Ooh, but that up is really, really fast. And we're already down two stocks. But there we go. That forward air, really, really good. Got the kill, actually. But there was more use to forward air. I was getting sneaking a nice up tilt. Alright, that's his down smash. Not really used, but it is one of his best of his smash attacks. And here we go, a nice up smash. And we're going to try to get some kills with those. And that is his last remaining move, his down B. For his neutral special. And you can play that on the ground, and it can blow up just like that. Alright, nice up tilt as well. And we also did dash check, which was also really good. Alright. Ooh, very close. And as you can see, that can do some damage. Hand me my grenades. Nice up smash, though. Taking it out, Zelda, just like that. And a very narrow comeback all the way from one stock. And that just means our mission has been accomplished. Alright, looks like we have a nice Sonic up next. And why is it six minute two stock? I don't know. And his name even being You Try Hard. So I'm already not liking what he's bringing to the table. So I think we should just blow him up a little. If we can stop getting hit by him, that would be nice. Alright, so make it back on stage with dodging the F smash. I haven't talked about his elf tilt, two separate hits, and the up tilt really, really fast. You can do something out of it later as we plant the C4, ready for him to explode. Try to get him as he will run into it. That's what we're going to be trying to do a lot. There's also another thing you could do with C4. I'll talk about it in just a little bit. Nice up tilt. Alright, down there, but he does make it back. That's F smash. The one smash attack we haven't talked about yet is Sonic gets Hibs off. But yeah, it's his most powerful, but unfortunately is the slowest as a, a downside. But if we land one of those, it's going to kill him really, really early. 155, and we do shield against it, and we're going to show him nice kicking. Oh, I want to do some kicking. Down throw in the up tilt. That is a nice combo at late percent. They can not avoid it, and it is very, very powerful. And I got to say, another mission has just been accomplished. All right, so we have Robin up next, and I don't think I recall having faced a Robin in Road to Elite Smash, at least not in a long time. So, let's go ahead and start things off. We're on a Battlefield version of Balloon Trip as well, as Robin gets a nice Elf Thunder. Alright, getting some nice Nair into Up Tilt. I like that. It's something I'm familiar with as K-Rule. Is Dash Tech doing some good damage? Alright. Not too bad. Alright, here we go. So, nice Up Smash coming out. Alright, good Dash Attack. And here we go. We're gonna go. Nice oh! missile. Boom! Gets him all right, in the face. And we still live that Arc Fire at 177. Uh, and Lice avoiding a downer as well, so we still get to live a little bit longer. Nice up smash coming crashing down on Robin. Alright, 189, we're still living. You guys in here? Alright, well, I'm probably dying at 189 to down here. And we already got 49% on Robin, so we're doing alright. Alright, let's go for a nice back throw. Ooh, there we go! Nice forward air spike. And missed the tech as well, really helping us out. Alright, gotta be careful now. Alright. Oh, no. Ooh, not good. But you don't want to know something? Watch this. Anyway. Boom! All right. And we're still going to make that back at 61%. That's why Snake's Recovery is the best in the game. All right. Taking some damage from Nosferatu at 160. But he's at 92. 
So nice dash check, and let's go for another Nikki to Kaboom! Yes, Rico! Kaboom! Boom! Boom! There we go! And he's dead just like that. Gotta say, doing some nice damage for forward air. Nice recovery with uh, C4. Yeah, I gotta agree, not even close. Alright, looks like we have Falco up next. I'm not really fond about this matchup. I think Falco can do some really good work here, and I might struggle in this, but I don't know. Let's have some fun. Alright, already thrown him the great to start. Haven't talked about down tilt, but it can set up well out of uh, Nair. That's in the poor tilt, though, so not off to a good start, but good thing is Falco is missing a lot of his, and we're doing good. 159. Let's go ahead and plant that C4. And, oh, all right, I guess we're going to live. He went for down throw. We were dead there, actually, but we make it back. All right, so let's see if we can just my, blow him up. My main goal is to blow up. Shia <laughs> All right, we exploded him. We got our wish. All right, 172, so we got to be careful, though. Sorry, notice for a nice back Can we kill him before? Do you ever look at someone and wonder, what is going on inside their head? It's showtime. That is insane. All right, we did die to down smash, but that's awesome. Already killing him at zero, just after living at 177. All right, 172. Let's see if we can have a little bit longer. Okay, nice jab. Let's see if we can go for a nice up smash. I just want to talk to him. Wait, why do you have a shotgun? I just want to talk to him. Dad, this is ridiculous. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to shoot him. <laughs> Oh my god, I- <laughs> What? what? Alright, we have one more Falco to finish off this road to Elite Smash. God, that Falco got his career ended by me. But alright, we got another Falco. It is a little bit different this time. His name's Drew Stain, which, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of that, but... We're on small battlefield too, so I would like to show off a little bit more of Snake's moveset before we close out this Road to Elite Smash, but we've pretty much covered every other option that Snake has. Alright, making it back, very nice. Ooh, and unfortunately, he would have recovered if he just went straight up. But yeah, if you saw, we got the C4 on the platform. See you stupid! We can blow him up. Uh, actually, no, not on the platform, but very close to it. it was we still living? All right. Now let's blow ourselves up. Whoa. Nice tech. All right. All right. Yeah, I Ooh, I did air dodge the wrong way, but you have no choice but to air dodge up, and that's what I tried to do, but we didn't get that. All right. The platform's stopping the up smash from getting to Falco, and no F smash. We did lay down on that last one, but doing some heavy shield damage as well. Getting a kill with down smash as well. We already have a kill with all three smash attacks, which I think is pretty cool. I should have come for the forward air again, but Whoa. nice tech again. We're hitting those techs against this Falco. Alright, and it's on the platform. Yeah, if you can blow it up, if he did was below the platform, uh, Falco would have gotten blown up. That's the hitbox. Ooh, alright. We're gonna have to take the spike. But unfortunately, he goes too deep himself, and that's gonna be the end for Falco, and the end of our Elite Smash run, and wow, what an explosive Elite Smash, let me tell you. Well, I was not lying to you guys when I told you that Snake is explosive. That Falco, the second to last game, I, I don't even know, that has got to be the funniest game I have ever recorded in a Road to Elite Smash, and wow, Snake was just really fun to play, blowing up people left and right, spiking him with a forward air, just being able to show off all of his moves too. There wasn't a single move that I mi missed, I didn't really talk too much about backer, that's a broken move, Snake's moves are just really fast, really broken, and while I don't really like playing against him, God, that was the most fun Road to Elite Smash I've had in a very, very long time. Probably ever. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and blow up that subscribe button like I did to that Falco. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.